In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to just use the basics on these Active Expression 2, call them clickers, I guess, and how you can use them in your classroom. It's pretty simple to do. I'm just going to show you the basics here. So to start with, the power button's right here. You just long press that, and what it's going to do, it's going to turn on, and you will see it says unnamed 26. So this is clicker 26. So that's the first thing you want to do is get the clicker turned on and see if the Promethean board is going to register it. So I'm going to pause the video and we're going to transfer over to the Promethean board here. This is a sample activity that I put together for the kids. We're working with inequalities and I have Mr. Smiley here. All the kids have their clickers and then what we do is we just drag a problem out and then what they'll do is they will use the clickers to text in their responses. To get the clickers going You'll see this little icon with the question mark, it pops up. And then you can select what type of answer choice. Do you want it just to be numerical? Do you want it to be both? And so in this case, I want it to be both because we're gonna have variables and numbers along with symbols. And so let's take a look at our clicker here. After you press the response question type that you want, it allows the students to actually type in their response. And when they finish, they will hit send and it'll go back to the active expression screen. And you will notice that at the beginning of the video, we said that it was number 26, it will turn yellow. And then every time that you are finished, you can either set the timer here or you can just stop polling. And when you stop polling, what it'll do is, it'll tell you that there were other people that didn't respond, of course, because I just used that one clicker and it will display your response. It does this anonymously, so it's quick. You can talk about what answers were correct, what answers were incorrect, and it gives the students an opportunity to get some direct feedback without feeling embarrassed in the classroom. But I will tell you, you have to set some constraints when you're doing this. So if you're working with equations in, in this particular problem here, I'm gonna close this. It says three times a number. You will need the students to text in the exact way to multiply three times the number. So for example, I might have done this one with them and I said, I want you to write three times the number as 3x. Because although you can write three times the number in several different ways, both of these responses will get graded, so to speak, differently. And if you write 3x this way or three times x in the other way, it will show the bar when you poll on two different bars and it'll make it look like one is right and one is wrong. So build in some parameters with that. But that's just the basics on how to use the clicker system here with those active two expression clickers.